Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a logo to your YouTube video using Filmora 12. And I will also show you a way to save that logo as a template so that you can use it later. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. It is super easy. And for those of you who want to try Filmora 12, I will put the link in the description for you. And if you want to purchase the software, I have also 20% discount coupon code also. I will put it right here. Let's go. Alright, so for example, here's my Filmora Trial example project and I have a video on the timeline. So for example, this is your YouTube video and you want to put a logo right here at the corner of the video. It is very simple. You need to design your own logo, okay? And here I have three logo for my YouTube channel, different YouTube channel. By the way, maybe we can use this YouTube logo. Just drag and drop it on top of your video. And now you have the logo here on top of your video, okay? By the way, this is the first effect of the logo. It has zoom in effect, so we want to delete that effect. Just right click at the logo on the timeline and select delete effect, okay? And now you want to resize the logo and put it at the corner. You can just click here and then you want to scroll down here and you have the logo at the right corner of the video. It is super simple, right? And now if you want to add animation to your logo, it is also possible. For example, at this position, I can add the first keyframe. Just click here to add keyframe, okay? And I'm going to move my playhead to the beginning and then I can scale down the logo. Okay, so at this option, so Filmora will create another keyframe. By the way, to see the keyframe, you want to select, click here at the animation tab. And this is the first keyframe and this is the second keyframe. So let's play it. Very nice, right? And at the end, you can also add animation keyframe also. By the way, this is how to add a logo to your video using Filmora 12. But some people ask me, how can I keep the size of the logo here? Because you want to use it for your next project. Okay, so it is also very simple, right? For example, if we want to keep this logo and we want to use it for, for next project, all you need to do is to save this project as a template. For example, now you can just delete this video and just keep the logo here, okay? And you want to click File and then Save Project as Template, okay? Now Filmora will save this project including your logo and the animation as a new template. And you want to find it here at the Template section. Just click here and then select My and then you want to select Custom. Okay, so this is a logo animation project and if you want to use it, you want to drag and drop it onto the timeline. For example, I can delete this one and if we create a new project, uh, just click here, find a new and we can create a new project and we want to save this project. Okay, and this is a brand new project and we want to put a video. Okay, so I'm going to put this video on the timeline and I need to download it. Okay, and then we can keep the project setting and this is a video and we, if we want to use the same logo All we need to do is to go to the template tab right here and then find the custom folder And this is the logo animation. You want to drag and drop it onto the timeline Okay, and here you go. You have the logo and the animation at the same position and the same size Alright, so this is how to add a logo to your video using Filmora 12. And there's another question. How can you add a logo to your YouTube video at the right corner of the screen? If you want to add that logo, you have to go to your YouTube studio, not in the video editing software. Okay, for example here, if I go to my YouTube studio, and if I want to add my YouTube logo to the right corner, something look, look like this. We want to select the customization tab right here in your YouTube studio. And then you want to select branding. And here you can add your logo or change it or remove it and select an option to display it on your YouTube video. All right. So I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. If you are new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Goodbye and see you again.